the Bangladesh floods of 1998. What caused the Bangladesh floods uh, was the fact that Bangladesh is located on a delta. This means that the land is very flat and 80% of the land is only one metre above sea level. What actually caused this land to flood? Well, monsoons, snow melting <laughs> and deforestation are all factors that con uh, contributed to this flooding. The uh, reason behind this is deforestation in the Himalayas meant that there was no, uh, that there was no filtration uh, in the land so that the discharge of the rainwater from the monsoons flowed down into this delta, into this very flat land, causing the country of Bangladesh to flood. Uh, this is a diagram of a river that has had silt build up, meaning that the bank, that the depth of the river isn't as deep, meaning it can't hold as much water, uh, and the water coming into this river is caused by the snow melting in the Himalayas, and this means that they can't take as much. The capacity of the river is very small, and so the water overflows, bursts banks, and there are some impacts. These impacts, uh, we'll start with the human impacts. Uh, yeah, so one million people were living in very vulnerable areas that are prone to flooding. Uh, and this meant, and this led to even, uh, overpopulation in cities like Dakar. Go back. Uh, this overpopulation uh, helped spread disease that killed over a thousand people, 1,300 to be precise, and this flooding destroyed seven million homes. Uh, the overall cost to this flooding uh, was one billion pounds. Dollars. No, 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 no. Pounds represented by a bag for dollars, because that's a universal sign of money, but whatever. Moving on. Uh, and the environmental impacts of the floods were that 57% of the country was flooded. Um, this was at its peak time, which lasted for a month. Uh, this ended up killing uh, seven mi oh, not seven million, half of the cattle and half of the uh, just general livestock. And not only did it kill cattle, it also destroyed a load of crops that were lying flat onto the land. And this totaled up to be around two million tons of rice, uh, just to name one example. And that's it.